What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Marvel Spider-Man episode 11 and this is the Halloween special. Now, before I get into this review, I want to say something real quick. I apologize for my lack of videos the last couple days. I was just, you know, super tired. Um, but anyway, I'm back now, full up to speed, ready to, ready to just make videos again. So anyway, let's get into this. I'm going to come out right, I'm going to I'm going to come out and say right now that this episode was was really bad. It, and I'll explain why, but this episode was just so so dumb and it just it there was no effort to put into this at all. Uh but yeah, let's get into this. So the episode starts out with Spider-Man swinging through the city like always and it's funny cuz he's 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 a horse. He's got a horse because Peter and Harry were gonna be a horse, so Harry's like the horse's ass, and then Peter's like the the head, and he's like wearing the horse head, and it was pretty. I thought it was actually kind of funny, um, but then we get to the part where we come across a werewolf, and then Spider Man's fighting a werewolf now, and uh, then Hulk comes in hulk just appears out of thin air no reason why he's here no context to why he's here he's just oh he's here well in re well actually he was tracing this gamma radiation spike um and that's what led him to the werewolf and that's why he's in the episode but i don't like his design i don't like hulk's design in this show he is not green enough. He's very, very light, like on the green. Like, look at this. Like, this is green. When you look at this, this is green. That green was very, very almost grayish. Uh, his, his, his body structure and, his, and like his facial and hair designs were very bland, bland and, and very weak looking. Like, they weren't very, like astonishing to the eye they were very just bland and just just terribly written and drawn like it just it looked terrible i did not like his design at all so during the fight with hulk and and uh the werewolf the werewolf starts draining his gamma radiation with this crystal um i thought it was like some type of magic crystal but as the show goes on, we learned it's not magic at all. So, and, and you know what's funny? It, and this is, this is probably the show's biggest problem. Is it tries to be super scientific, but yet it never wants to actually try to be scientific. Like, like, like before, when I said the crystal was draining his gamma radiation. Do they ever say that in the show? Hell no, they don't. I, the, because they act like you need to be a rocket scientist just to even say the words that I just said. Like, they don't ever, like, they, 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 they try to act like they're so, so scientific that they're being so, you know, science thumbs up. But no, they're not. This show would probably even make people who are fans of, of science fan fiction hate this. Like, like, this is just so beyond, like, this show is so beyond, like, its ability to entertain you with, with, and I'm a guy who likes science fiction. Like, I like it when, you know, when it doesn't really make sense, it, they, they do make it make sense. But here, they don't even try. And I just, just one of my problems so as the show's going on, we get to the scene, we get to a scene where Harry's talking to Gwen. And here's the thing. This show has a, a, a strong, strong problem. And it's ability not to make you laugh. It doesn't, it, 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 you can't laugh. It's something, some things in the show are just not funny. Like, and it's, and it's weird because I expected something from this Halloween special. I didn't get a, I didn't get no good jokes. I didn't get no good scares. 
I didn't get anything from this. I got this as a bland, cheap episode to further push the plot of their stupid season finale is what it's going to be. That That's what this is gearing up to be, and I'll explain, which I'll get to at the end. So then Harry's talking to Gwen. I would have, you know what, I, you know what's, what's funny? You know what's a funny joke is if Harry was like, I, like, like when Gwen asks him, what are you supposed to be? I would have been like, I'm a horse's ass, because that's exactly what he is, and that would have been hilarious, or they would have come up with some type of joke that was like that. I can come up with better jokes for this freaking show, and I'm sure I'm sure a lot of other people can, okay? And this show desperately lacks some creativity and some laughs or anything. Oh, it's so frustrating. All right, and it's mostly because of this episode. Moving on. So the show progresses, we sooner or later get to, we get a call from Harry, the werewolf appears in this Halloween party at the lab, and um, then yeah, then Bruce has got a, Bruce and Spidey got a race there, and and uh, fight the werewolf again in this dance party, which is the second dance dance party that actually this, in this, in this entire series, with them, which I'm kind of surprised. Um... So here's another thing, when, when he when Spider-Man's fighting the werewolf, he webs him to this wall, but before that he hits him with a bat, this like bat box of candy, and you know what'd been so funny, and this is what I would have done if I was him, I would have been like, oh candy on the floor, <laughs> and just like put my mask back on, that would be more funny than any of the other jokes that I've seen lately in this series and in this episode alone. There's just so many things that it it tr- it can't do. It doesn't want to do because it doesn't. Because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't want to be like the old shows or anything like that. Just ugh, it's so frustrating. So the show progresses. They fight. It leads to to the laboratory again. Ooh, back to the stupid labs. And so, uh, Hulk's fighting the werewolf again. He turn he they get the crystal finally off of this werewolf. The werewolf apparently was John Jameson. John Jameson. Now here's the thing. This show has changed a lot of characters. And it mostly all of the characters that we used to that we're used to and we love have been reduced to scientists or the lack thereof. And John Jameson is this puny little science, very timid scientist, I guess, that works for Osborne. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, ah, uh, the show. He here's what I have learned from the show as I've watched the last ten episodes. They're never going to venture off anywhere besides a stupid laboratory. They're not going to go anywhere else. You're not going to see them go into space. You're not going to see them go to the depths of hell. You're not going to see them work with anything involving magic. Nothing. The show has absolutely nothing to give. It's giving nothing. That is what I'm, I've learned from the past 10 episodes that I reviewed, the past 10 episodes that I watched, and suffered through to respond and to give feedback about them. And I can tell you right now, it's trying to do this stupid plot of Osborne and Spider-Man. They're trying to do that. And guess what? It doesn't work. It doesn't work because they don't try. They don't they don't want to try. They don't want to try, really. Whoever says that the, that they're trying to make the show have a good ending or a good show in general is completely lying to you. They they're not trying. They're just they're not trying. That's what I hate about the show is when I'm seeing the lack of care, the lack of any type of hard work. They they're just they're, they're wasting their time. They're wasting their time. They're changing. They're changing things just for the sake of changing it, so they can keep things in one place, which is a laboratory. Meaning, we're not going to venture off and do other things like all the things I listed before, like 
going into space or going to hell or or, or seeing other characters it, it's not gonna go any deeper or any or any ventures there's not gonna be any cool adventures nothing there's just nothing here anyway back to this review so this is this is another thing that makes me mad so during the episode the werewolf is clawing some students he, he when he claws the students they turn into werewolves themselves right well as i'm watching the show hulk, when hulk turns into a werewolf without the crystal so the show tries to explain that because his gamma radiation is giving off gamma radiation that the werewolves are still werewolves and because he's a werewolf now and here's the thing i never saw hulk get clawed they never ever point out that he got clawed bit nothing so when he got turned into a werewolf i was confused I was like, wait a minute, why are you a werewolf now? And they just completely left out the part where they're supposed to show a claw mark or something. It wasn't there. They just kind of skipped it. Like they expect you to just kind of assume that that happened. That's bad storytelling. That's bad writing. That's bad everything. Ugh, it's just so frustrating. So then they, they retreat. They go back to the lab. Spider-Man uses the crystal to drain Hulk's radiation. And then by doing so, it makes all the other werewolves turn back into humans. And then we get to, a, a, again, back to Osborn. We get this stupid thing where John goes back to Osborn with the crystal. And he's saying, oh, it was, it was successful, except it was, you know, out of control here i i don't like osborne in this series osborne is too openly evil you want to know one of the cool things about spectacular spider-man was you never could tell if osborne was the bad guy that's what i liked because i was even tricked especially at the end of that series i was like there's no way that he could have possibly have done it. And I love the way it, the, it tricked you. I love the way it puts you on this, this mind trick roller coaster. This show, there's no tricks. There's no smoke screens. There's no, there's no behind the scenes level of excitement. There's nothing. There's no, no story. There's no nothing there. It's so bland in your face. There's just nothing there to keep you excited about watching this show. It's the type of show you watch once, you hate it, and you leave and never think about it or, or talk about it again, because that's how bad it is. I will be reviewing the all, this all the way to the last episode of season one. I don't know if I'll review season two because this is how bad the show is. I, I don't even think it'll get a season two. If it gets a season two, I'll be surprised, but if it doesn't, then we know why, because that's how bad it was. But anyway, guys, that was my review. Very, very bad episode. Very, very bad episode. Again, where the fuck is the Halloween stuff? Where's, where's the trick-or-treats? Where are the kids in the costumes? You don't get barely any of that. You, you don't even get good jokes about Halloween. You don't get none of that. I thought this was supposed to be a Halloween special. This was nothing. This was just flat out nothing. Wow. Just wow. God. Just golly. Like, I can't with this series no more. I'm, I, I'm done. <laughs> this series is going to kill me. I, I can't. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And um, oh, my God. How many more episodes I gotta do? I gotta do. I I can't. <laughs> um, like I said though, thank you for watching, and I'm out of here. Up, up, and away. See you guys.